So I wanted to start off today with, I've posted a few, I've been testing this. I've been testing GTA 6 in the past, I don't know, like month or so. Putting, sprinkling it out here and there to see if you guys will actually like it or not like it. I also don't know if a lot of the stuff that, a lot of people that are watching the new stuff, the GTA stuff, are new or if they're, you know, returning. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I appreciate you guys watching at the end of the day. But I wanted to make something more towards GTA. And if that is the route that this channel takes, great. If not, I don't really care. I'm just trying to give you guys the best result possible no matter what we talk about on this podcast no matter what videos I, I make so I actually posted a video about like confirmed GTA 6 leaks and that video was awesome I it's got over a thousand views right now I hope it keeps going and I appreciate you guys that have watched it but I wanted to kind of like go over a lot of the stuff in that video and also some of the stuff that I've been doing research on just to see if those actually are confirmed and at the end of the day, for for short, to be honest with you, depends on the source that you go to. So I've seen a lot of mixed signals online about the different stuff that I've done videos on so so far. So a lot of people saying it's not true. Some people are saying it is true. And then it's like there's no official really record that I could find of Rockstar confirming nor denying a lot of this stuff. So it's up in the air. I, I don't want to discredit anyone else. I don't want to discredit myself. But we'll have to wait until, and see until the game comes out to actually get these answers. But what I did want to do is I did want to go through and kind of give my own opinions of what has already been in that video. If you have not already go to, if you have not already gone to watch that video, go over and watch that GTA Six confirmed leaks video. It's it's uh, it's pretty in depth. So the one thing I wanted to go over: dynamic weather. The first thing, if dynamic weather is in this game, it is going to add a huge amount of diversity to to this game now there are other games that have that di dynamic weather whether the actual i know weather 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 we whether the the clouds are going to actually be dynamic clouds or there's going to be 2d Im images that really at the end of the day doesn't really matter the volumetric clouds really won't make your gameplay that that much different unless they actually do something with it so i mean at this point i don't really see a way of that actually affecting your gameplay I mean, at the end, of, like, unless you can, like, fly through it with a plane and you get struck by lightning, like, that's really the only thing that I could see them doing. But at the end of the day, like, they could just do that with 2D clouds and, like, put an animation in there that if you hit a certain collider, you're, you can, that'll happen. You know what I mean? So, I, <coughs> excuse me. At the end of the day, I don't really know how cool that really will, will, will be, but dynamic weather, I think, for the effect and the feel of GTA, will definitely make it worthwhile, if that's the case, right? Because then you'll be flying through clouds. You can actually get lost in clouds and hit other things in, in the sky, if that's the case. That's maybe some other application that they could use for it. Um, The feel of GTA, as far as, like, the weather in the sky, looking at it from the ground, will feel different as well. It won't just look like a 2D image. Because, because, and here's my example: If you're looking at something from the ground on in a GTA game or any game, if the if the if the clouds are volumetric versus 2D, you can tell when there's a 3D object flying either over, like past them or through them. That's the best way I could pretty 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 much describe it. And you'll know what I'm talking about if you've actually experienced that before. But I've experienced it before in, in a few different games. There are other games that have done dynamic clouds. But uh, they aren't as good, probably, as this is going to be. Um, the second thing I wanted to go over, gyms. The gyms are back. I honestly didn't even really know that they were gone. I haven't played GTA 4 or GTA 5 enough to really know that they were gone, to be honest with, with you. I really thoroughly enjoyed San Andreas. That was my game, bro. I played that game so much, and I pretty much made that my life. Like, I felt like I was CJ, as weird as that sounds. But I, I went to the gym a lot. Like, I went to the gym a lot in that game. I was always, like, if I started a new campaign or whatever, I would always be, like, going to the gym. It was my first thing. Like, as soon as I could go to the gym, I'd be in the gym cycling. I'd be in the gym lifting weights. I'd be in the gym bench pressing, like... Because I did a lot of shit in real life. I used to be the ripped fucking ga ga gamer. I mean, now I'm still pretty strong, but I now have a little bit of a gut, which is going away soon. So don't worry. This this she she's not sticking around too 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 long. All right. Um. But uh, but the uh, the the other thing too is um I always enjoyed that because it was something that this kind of goes back to what, to what I've said and I, what I've bitched about in many different podcast episodes where it's like why would I go to the gym. And work out when I could just do that and like and like real life. You know, like why would I want to feed myself when I could just go in the kitchen and grab a sandwich? Why would I drink water when I could just go in the kitchen and grab myself a water bottle? 
it, that kind of is, that's actually where it kind of stemmed from was actually playing G GTA. I'm like, after a while, like I realized I was like, why am I working out in a video game? Why am I not working out downstairs? I mean, I, <laughs> to me, it just sound it just felt stupid and silly. Um, but I mean, I also don't want to downgrade it for anyone that likes to do that kind of stuff. At the end of the day, I'm not like here to shit on you for, for that. Like if you enjoy that, you do, you do you right. Like I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold it against you. I know a lot of people in the comment section will hold it against me, but I, you know, I would rather work out in real life than work out in a video game. So that's where that kind of stemmed from. And that's where I was like, listen, why am I, why am I wasting my time doing this? You know, this whole thing, doing this video game thing when I'm, when I could just be downstairs, that was when I was with my parents too. So I had like a full exercise gym downstairs, which is what I used on a daily basis. I, I, I worked out, you know, anywhere from five to seven days a week. I started to slow down once I had, you know, a real job, a big boy job. And I had, a, you know, a wife, a kid, like life, life gets busy, but now we're back into it. We're fasting again. We're eating healthy. We're working out at least three times a week. You know, it's like, Actually, I kind of actually I can't say that. I usually work out five times a week if I because I go for a walk and stuff like that. But anyway, um, the gyms are back, and I'm excited to see that to see like what the application if it, if it's just as simple as they made it for San Andreas, or if they made it if they're going to make it more dynamic. I, I don't know how dynamic they they could they could make it. Uh, they could probably do like a fatigue thing too, where if uh, you go to the gym too much and you try to like fat because it's essentially in San Andreas. If you, for, for those of you that have or have not played it. You can actually go into San Andreas every single day. You can only work out once a day. You couldn't work out a ton of times a day. So if you worked out once, you had, you had to work out once a day in the game, in game, which was like, I don't know. I don't think it was a 24 hour period. I think it was like a, I think it was like an hour or two period or something like that. That's how time went in San Andreas. It was pretty quick. You do a couple of missions, you come back and you work out. So that's, that's what I used to do. And I, and I don't remember if, if you could do upper body and lower body on the same day. I think you could only do one at a time. So if you did upper body, you had to do upper body, and then you had to do low, lower, lower body the, the next day or something like that. But um, you could pretty much, like, in, you know, a day or two's time, like, pretty much get the highest amount of muscle mass that you could get possible. Same thing with your legs. And just be super quick, be able to ride a bike super far, you know, whatever else. And be super strong. Um... So that so that that was kind of the dynamic in, in, in that game. I don't know if they're going to be like, well, you can only do a certain amount of reps in a certain amount of time. Like, you you could do a couple sets, but like, imagine in this game where they're like, oh, you can only do like one set per minute or something like that. Well, a minute is you know again gameplay time, not actual time. If it'd be actual time, I think that'd be a waste of my time to be honest with you. So, I think that the gyms come come, come coming back is going to add a new di dynamic, and, and 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 I hope they I hope that they. I, I, I really hope that Rockstar in innovates the gyms coming back to GTA, not just like the old way that San Andreas was, even though San Andreas was the GOAT. Dynamic robbery. That's another thing that I saw as well. So if this is the case, which this actually doesn't seem too far-fetched. This is this sounds like something that could actually be done. Um, <clears throat> because even, e even in GTA 5, I believe there were certain areas, certain missions where, like, you could actually get spotted by cameras and stuff like that. So, essentially, dynamic robbery for, for this game is going to be, like, you can take note of, like, where vaults are. You could take of note of, like, where cameras are, sensors, stuff like that. And then you could come back and rob the place, right? Um, it was simple in GTA 5 where you could just, like, point the gun at, like, a clerk or whatever. And they would just give, they would give you the money or shoot back, back at you. But I think they're going to – they may put in some AI in here. They may do some, like, different stuff with it, which is something that I would like to see. And in, 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 I'm interested to see what the final product will be once the game comes out. Because at the end of the day, if you can actually, like, do that kind of stuff and get caught by cameras and, like, get caught by the cops if you, like, go by a certain, you know – uh, like traffic light camera, if they have those in the game, um, you know, then you can get caught by the cops or, you know, you won't be able to escape the cops. Cause I mean, it's pretty, historically, it's pretty easy to get to like lose the cops, right? Like all you have to do is just stay out of their, out of, out of their sight line. Actually in GTA five, I'm pretty sure they made it even easier because they showed you the area that you had to get out of. So like on the mini map, you had to get out of this certain air area on the map to not get caught by, by the cops or to get rid of your wanted level. Or you could call somebody just to get the wanted level off you. You know what I mean? Like you could murder 12 people and be like, Hey, I need to, I need, I need an assistance. You're like, dude. Okay. Like, I wonder how that's going to be too. Like if you could actually call somebody and just like after murdering like a hundred pe people and like 60 cops, 
Like, are you going to be able to just get away with it by calling somebody on the phone? Hey, uh, I need I need a favor. You know what I mean? Or it's going to be like, dude, you've killed like 100 people. We have to kill you or we have to take you in, whichever one. Um, so I wonder how that that's going to play out too. But dynamic robbery could also play into all this other stuff if they also add AI to the game. Because I've done this a lot of times. Like, I've, I've said this many times. AI is going gonna, is gonna to change the way that we not only view games, but the way that we play them too. So if they do end up putting in some kind of AI, whether it be now, like when the game launches, or whether it be in a couple of years, Rockstar and GTA 6 are going to be a whole new ball game, especially when it comes to even pro possibly map building. But map size, see, this is another thing too that AI could take, which I just hinted at. Like map size is one thing where you're going to want to think about because not only can the developers make this map bigger, but also if, if AI comes in eventually, this may not be now, this may not be in the next 10 years or 20 years, but this is, again, something that you need to take into account. If AI can generate some kind of map for a player, like the developers may just need to just finalize and to complete that map, right? So AI can just build like a basic map structure of what the city might look like and then they could build upon that. Now, this is me speculating. This is me kind of just shouting out ideas. But the map size is going to be larger. It always is. So that's something you could definitely guarantee on. Leaks or, or not, I can tell you that's going to happen. Like almost every game, the map is larger. Unless they make a specific map that's supposed to be smaller. Like even in Warzone. Like Warzone 2, the Warzone 2 map was, was larger. Like the Battlefield 1 versus Battlefield 5 maps. For Battlefield 5 maps the biggest one is larger than the biggest one in battlefield one. That That's almost always a guarantee. Like, I feel like it's just like, now it's just a guarantee at this point where if the map isn't larger, either they're, they don't care or they're just, they're just trying, they're like, they're building the bigger map. Just give them time. You know what I mean? So, and the other leak that I heard, which I pretty sure is true is going to be the building they're going to be building new sections to the map. So putting in new towns. Now, I, I, don't, I don't know the extent of this. I, I don't know the details. I do not know if it, the town's going to be larger than if it's going to be like a town or if it's going to be like a neighborhood or if it's going to be like a, like an entire city. I don't know. That That's the thing that we have to kind of, again, see once the game comes out. Those, those That's interesting, though, to see. Like, how big is this map going to be? Is this, is this map going to pretty much bring us Diff like is the map itself going to be like twice the size of of GTA 5 and then it, we're going to add on to it each each year each month or whatever um because again G GTA this is GTA is a 10 year game right at minimum it's a 10 year game now in those 10 years they really keep this game going like there there is there is no there is no there's no downtime, right? Like they've they've got new heists coming, they've got new skins coming, they've got new weapons coming, they've got new ga you know cars coming, and with you know with new technology emerging, I mean I can tell you right 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 now that the technology in these games, and especially in GTA, is going to get a lot crazier. So you're going to be looking at you know like a laser gun by the time GTA Six comes out, pro probably in like a DLC after doing some kind of heist or robbery or whatever. So. <clears throat> This stuff is going to get wild, and I and I and I wholeheartedly believe that everybody is going to enjoy this stuff. Dual protagonists. So I'm not really sure what the hype is about this. Um, maybe it's because they're doing a female first ever protagonist that could be the hype around it. But I also don't really see why that's a big deal. Is it is it like representing a community? Is it because like I'm not really sure what the issue is here. Like I'm not really not not issue, but why what's the hype around there being a dual pro protagonist? Because many games have had dual if not multi protagonists before. The only thing I don't think GTA has done, which I might be wrong about this, where essentially if you're pinned down, right, and you're one character, let's let's say there's a dual pro protagonist and you're with two other friends, right? Let's say hypothetically you're pinned down with your two friends. And up there on like the house or whatever, or the building across from, from you, you're, you're pinned down, your partner's up there, your dual protagonist, right? They have a sniper rifle. You can switch to that person during a mission and you can kill everybody that's around you, right? That's, to me right there, that's like the, really the only real dual protagonist difference that I could see. But I'm pretty sure they've done that before. Or at least I've seen a game. I can't remember. I can't recall off the top of my head. But 
it's pretty much like a dynamic being able to switch in between two characters. I think even Army of Two did that if you were playing by by yourself. Like you could actually switch between your one character and your other one. You like you would pretty much sit there, get take, get like you know, get suppressed, and then the, your other guy would just go up behind everyone and kill everybody. So, I mean, I guess you know, at the end of the day, I, I'm like maybe not that surprised that this is really happening. But I think the biggest hype about it is there being a female protagonist, which maybe is it progressive? I'm not really sure. You know, let let me know in the comments down down below like why this is such a big deal, why the female protagonist is the biggest deal ever. Um, you know, and I, I, I hope that they don't make her like a stripper or something like that. Cause that would be so cliche at the end of the day, <laughs> especially in San Andreas. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> or a hooker or something. I mean, so I feel like some backgrounds are going to be like, she's a hooker or a stripper or something like, like that. But maybe that's me just being a dickhead. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I just, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm not like weary, but I'm, I'm just like, what, what can they really do with this? Right. Uh, but I hope that they blow us out, out of the water with this dual protagonist thing, you know, and I, and I hope that it like, they're like Bonnie and Clyde or something along those lines. That's what I hope is like really happening. And they make her some strong independent woman that, you know, has done big business things or something like, like that, that actually like gives her some strength, you know, instead of being like, yeah, I started out as a stripper and now I'm like a drug dealer. You know, it's like, all right, Cardi B. <laughs> actually, I don't know if that was Cardi B. <laughs> I got to I got to fact check before I talk shit. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, game, gameplay footage, right? So the gameplay footage that was leaked from, from GTA six, that though, that was actually confirmed GT uh, rockstar tried to like scrounge the internet to try to get rid of all of it. But at the end of the day, I don't really know why they would do that. I mean, it actually kind of helps them more than anything. So I'm not really sure at the end of the day, why you would want to scrap that. I mean, at, at, at this point, I feel like that call of duty kind of just goes like rolls with the punches like if they get leaks they just like are like yep well that's free marketing you know what i mean so i mean i i guess maybe like rockstar really just wants to have the dignity and the respect of keeping their game private until you know whatever date they decide to release their game but you know i'm kind of thinking to myself i'm like that really it really does help them out sorry i have something in my eye and i don't really know what it is and it's annoying the crap out of me but i'm trying to understand like why they would do those types of things um because, it, you know, again, it's free publicity. It just gives people a reason to do, you know. But, I mean, I, I you know, again, I, I guess they just want to maintain, like, a, you know, accountability and, like, a reputation of, like, not leaking things just to leak things. Um, but, you know, because there's probably a lot of speculation behind that, that too. Like, who leaks the Call of Duty stuff? It's probably people internally. They probably do it on purpose now just to get some, pub, like, free, free publicity. And, you know, all these large content creators are larger content creators than me are always on the leaks like oh confirmed c confirmed call of duty leaks uh they're having red dots back they're now p gears are perks like you know they, like that kind of stuff so um they probably don't want to seem des desperate which i which i think you know that might be the call of duty motto at this point <clears throat> excuse me i don't know why i'm losing my voice don't don't ask me so um the other, the other thing too, uh, and the gameplay footage also confirmed the uh, the pr female pr protagonist, which everybody lost their minds with. I don't know why. Again, I'm just so confused by that. But the price of GTA Six, the price to make G GTA Six, um, two billion dollars, over a billion, a billion plus. Now, movies aren't even costing that much, and it actually kind of makes me proud in a way, right? And let, let, let me actually see, um, what is the price to make GTA 6? Into a draft by a hacker, then shared by a Twitter account, GTA, GTA 6 reportedly cost $2 billion, has been in development since 2014, making it the most expensive entertainment product of all time as Rockstar has determined to set, a new, to set new standards in, in the industry. And I will show you this real, real quick, too. Uh, it is confirmed. It's $2 billion. Um... This number actually seems low to me, but that's that's just that might just be me. Um, I I do not think that GTA Six will be less than a billion dollars, and this is just me saying this in general, because GTA Five was a large game, and Rockstar has been setting standards their own. St so like, think of Rockstar as Mr. Beast on YouTube. They're setting their own standards, there, and they're doing what they want to do. Which is also why I applied for a job at Rockstar. And I um, actually, did I get an interview at Rockstar? I think I might have gotten an interview at Rockstar at one point. 
I've, I've had an interview at Turtle Beach. I've had an interview at Rockstar. I've, I've, had, I've had an interview at, at TikTok, actually. And I think maybe YouTube. I've had, I've had, I've had interviews at some pretty big places, and I, and I never got the job. So don't don't worry. I'm not like some big shot, okay? Um, but, yeah, I've, I've interviewed with a lot of people there, with a lot of people at, you know, different pl places. But I definitely should apply to Rockstar again and see if, they, see if they'll take my resume and my application. Anyway, anyway. Um, but $2 billion to me seems pretty reasonable and they are setting standards. It's true. They're setting standards. They, they are making a 10 year game. That's what they're doing. They're making a 10 year game, a 10 year cycle of a game. If not even more at this point, right? Like GTA five is not going to instantly die when GTA six com comes out. Like you, I don't know if you've noticed, but like about a half a year to a year into a game of call of duty, like it's dead. So GTA has been setting a standard for what gaming has to be and what it should be, which I respect. That's why I, I, I respect Rockstar. Whether or not I buy or play their games, I respect them as a company because they are doing what is necessary to make change in the industry. Now, eventually people are going to catch on to this, right? That's going to actually be a thing. And then what's going to happen is they're going to see what GTA is doing, how successful they are at doing it, and then they're going to copy that. That's just, that's how the market works at this point, right? Like you see a good video from Mr. Beast and you see people copy that, then you see people copy the other people, and it just becomes this copy and paste thing. So when you see channels like mine and you see channels like Magnates Media, there's a lot of different people that I'm actually following that are actually on my channel uh, like if you go to the channel section, you, you you can actually see the channels that that I follow, um, and they are setting standards, and that's why I follow them. Like that's the reason why we do this. Like we do this to be different. We do this to 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 be to not be average, but to give you the best stuff possible. Now I'm reposting videos. I'm making my own content. I'm doing a lot of different things. I'm trying to have fun doing this. Like I'm not trying to become the best YouTuber in the world, but I'm also just trying to have fun, which is really what I've been trying to do the past at least two years of my life. Cause the first 20 years, first 25, 26, 27 years of my life have just been stressed trying to be the best at, 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 at everything. But I realized that being the best at everything is not, is not possible. You have to pick something and go with it. Now, I want to make, I, I really want to write stories. I really want to make video games. I really want a million followers on YouTube. I really want to make a cloud gaming company with cloud gaming software and be able to pretty much bring gaming into the next era of, of its, of its legacy. Right. That's my, that's my vision. Right. And I want to do all those things, but I realize I, I can only do one at a time. So me, doing YouTube and giving you guys the best quality that I can that I, within budget, right? Like I'm, you know, I'm not a millionaire. I'm not making tons of money. I'm not making six plus fit figures, you know, multi six fit, fit, fit figures. I'm making a reasonable salary and I'm trying to give you guys the best quality that I can. I've replaced this camera. I've replaced this camera and this camera still is on my computer, but eventually I'll probably replace this camera too. Like these are two new cameras. These, these two cameras here, I used to use my phone back here and I even use, I think it was like at the first podcast episode, I'm pretty sure was like on my head, right? It was like super close. And if you go back the first or second podcast episode, like that was the thing. And like, I think I also had, uh, one here or something like that. It was like close here. I didn't have it here. I think I changed it to on the desk, but there's a whole history to this whole thing, right? Like I'm trying to improve a little bit each time I'm going to have to eventually start, you know, e editing these and bringing them together and kind of like giving you guys the best product possible. Now this stuff takes a lot of time and this stuff takes a lot of effort, like which, which is, which is what I, I really want to get, get across here. So creating a good product like GTA six is going to be, is going to take money. It's going to take time. So giving you guys the best product versus you guys wanting it now is not the best thing, which I learned this myself again, creating content. I, I, I learned this, like you're not going to improve and make the best perfect product. Cause nothing's perfect. If you, if you haven't no noticed, if, if you're not going to make the best perfect product possible within a day or two, like it's not happening or within a month or a year, like it's going to take a maximum 
well, not maximum, a minimum five, five years, maybe even two to five years. And then e even 10, 10 years plus to like, I saw a comment the other day on, uh, on a TikTok vi vi video. I forgot what the hell the video was about, but the guy said he sold a tech company recently. It took him 20 years to do it. 20 years. He sold his company for like a couple hundred million dollars, right? That's the thing is that GTA is playing the long game. So they are going to keep making a good game every 10 plus years. They're not going to make, they're, they're not, they're not like call of duty trying to squeeze every penny they can out of their audience, which is the reason why I respect rockstar, which is the reason why I keep going and doing what you're doing. Don't listen to the fans when they say we want a GTA. Like you're not going to get GTA six until it's ready or until it's ready to go. Like they're, they're not going to have a day one patch. They might, if they find glitches and whatever else, but they are thoroughly testing GTA six. They are making sure GTA six works. They're making sure that Grand Theft Auto six is a good product. So you're not going to get it in two years. You're not going to get it in a year. You're not going to get it in five years. You're going to get it in 10 plus. That's when it's ready. So, <clears throat> know that $2 billion is not going to waste on this game. Know that there is no movie out there that is that costs that much out there right, right now. With all the actors, with all the staff, with everything, they are not making that kind of money. On they're making that kind of money on, on a movie, but but they are it's not taking them that that amount of money, that amount of, that wow. That amount of money to make a movie. Just know that, okay? The and one one thing that I, you know this actually brings me into, into this 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 has gotten so much um, attention that there is actually a GTA filter right let's 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 go on let's go on here so uh, hold on I have to find it now GTA no actually let, let, me, let me go to, to the to, to the filters so let me go here. So, GTA 6 filter. So, if you see right here, look how many, if you can see it, come on, come on, get rid of my face. No? This is not going to show it. These are all GTA 6 filters. Let's, let's, see, if we can let's see if we can see it on, on here. Can you see on here? It's a little better on here. But these are all GTA 6 filters. Now, if I just pick one of them, right? I'm actually curious to see what it, what it, what it's going to do with the uh, with the headset on, but if I click create and I just and I just let it go, right? It's gonna it's gonna do something here. Let's let's see what it does. Right? Let's see what it does. See? Come on, you can do it. Watch, it's gonna ah. Uh, AI is too busy. Are you kidding me right now? Let's try. Let's try it again. I may have to take the headset off. Let's see what it does. But look. L look at that. Isn't that crazy? The GTA 6 filter. I mean, even in, in real life, it looks actually pretty cool. And you, it's got like the headset on and everything. And like, it looks like I'm, I'm inside of a house. It's like, it's pretty awesome. But like, this is the kind of stuff that GTA 6 is producing because and, and, you know, I think the opposite side of the spectrum is really even better than what Call of Duty does, where they just go for the quick hits. They just go for the quick, the quick money. I think that it's, it's have, playing the long game is so much better because you know how much hype is going around what the leaks are and what like leaks are confirmed and not confirmed. You know how many people are talking about it? Like... I think Call of Duty is just so used to just having the leaks out that it's like they're just hitting the bare minimum audience now. Like that's that's the thing that I don't that's that's the thing I think that Call of Duty's missing. And it's it's hard to articulate this, but essentially Call of Duty is missing their opportunity for the mystery in their game, which is what GTA is doing. And that's, that is a huge longevity play that GTA does, that Rockstar does versus what Call of Duty does. Call of Duty is about the quick, the instant. Here's some leaks. You know, all these content creators can just start creating content on it. 
Whereas GTA is like, oh shit, we got a leak out. Let's let's get it back, right? And then then there's like this little gem out there that's like the gameplay of the female character or whatever, or some gameplay of what GTA Six is gonna look like in like a pre-alpha look, right? And it's like if the pre-alpha looks amazing, the actual game is gonna look even better typically, unless you're you know the, the day before. <coughs> Sorry, I'm I'm probably gonna keep jab jabbing them like every single episode that I get a chance. So. But that's that's what I'm essentially saying is that this is going to just get better with age. And that's what GTA is looking for. That's what that's what Rockstar is looking for. I don't think they're looking for the quick hits, the quick hits of dopamine. I, th I think they're looking for the long game where the, the information is scarce. And the people have to do the speculations that they have to talk about it. And they have to share their opinions like I'm doing right, right, right now. And that's a great strategy for anyone. So that's something you should be taking notes on if you're making a game or if you're doing any kind of product and launching any, any, any kind of product. Don't give them so little that they don't want to know about it, but give them just enough so so, so, so that people want to talk about it. Um, the other thing I, 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 that I actually... Actually, no, that was the last, that was the last bit of my, of, of, of my thing. I, I do want to end, end, end with this. I did want to talk about um, the... Uh, I wanted to talk about the the play to earn model. Now I know I made a podcast on this, and I and I do want to say, and I still wholeheartedly b believe this. I think this is not going to be a real thing in GTA. I don't think it's going to be play play to earn. I think it's going to be more of like an FTX, like Sam Bankman Freed, ha 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 moment. I don't think it's going to be like a you know a. I I I don't think you're going to be able to actually get cryptocurrency and use it in real life. That's what I think. Uh, that's, I've also read that a bunch of times. I, again, I also read the other side of the spectrum on many different forums where people are like, oh yeah, there's, you know, yes, this is confirmed. This is confirmed. I, you know, so at this point, I don't know it, it, at the point, at this point, the internet's so goddamn divided on, on everything. I can, I don't even know what the fuck is real anymore. So unless I hear it from the, from the horse's mouth, I, I don't believe it. Right. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to say is, um, I think that they are, I think that they are, that rockstar I think that Rockstar and GTA, if if anyone was going to do a play-to-earn model and make it work, it's going to be them. There are other games that are actually successful in play-to-earn. That's actually real, in case you're wondering. So if you are speculative about crypto and you don't believe in it, there are games out there where you can play-to-earn. Just saying. Um, I don't. There's one really big, big, big one that I actually want to. Uh, what the hell's the name? Uh, biggest play-to-earn game. Uh, I forgot what the hell the name of the game was, but there was, there was a, there was a legitimate game out there and I can't, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but there is a legitimate game out there that you can play to earn. There are people that were actually making a lot of money, like 10,000 a month, upwards of $10,000 a month playing this, this, this game. I don't remember what the hell the game name is right now. There's a lot of there's a lot of different stuff here that I'm seeing on these forums, and I don't think any, like most of the stuff that's been made in the past like two two or three years is probably trash. Uh, but there there was a there was a game where you where you had where you it was kind of like Pokemon almost where you could like evolve your you know animal into an egg or whatever, and then it would it would hatch, and then you could like fight and, and fight for territory and stuff like that. Uh, that was like a legitimate game. I don't remember what the hell the game name is. I, I I'll probably remember it after the after I'm done filming this, but. That was a legitimate game that you could actually use play play it on. There are games out there you can do it. So just know that it's not all a scam. Just FYI, I'm not promoting anything because again, I don't know the name of it, but I'm telling you that it's not a, it's not all all a scam. Okay. So don't just get that out of, out, of, out out of your head. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention right was, um, if anyone was going to do it, it's going to be GTA. If they're if they're going to do it right and if they're going to bring it to mainstream, to mainstream ga ga gaming, I think it would be Rockstar. That that's my whole thing because and I went more into depth in, in this episode in the episode when I talked about this more in depth, but a brief overview was like they could create a skin or a car or whatever that would be worth money in the game, right? So Somebody would buy it, and a specific amount of people can buy it. This is how pretty much how our whole system. This is how our whole system works, FYI. Uh, so, if you buy if you buy that car, if you're one of like the say the thousand people that 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 bought that car, 
that car is now worth money, not only in real life, but also in the game. Okay? So now somebody could buy it off of you because the company made money off of the people that bought the car. Now, this is also could be determined based off of how much money, you know, you spend, right? So the market determines in the game how much money this car would be worth. So if you pay, let's say a hundred bucks for it in real money to give to the company to attain that NFT or that asset. Now, if somebody wants it, they could pay 110 for it. So it doesn't have to depreciate in value considering that it's digital and you can always just repair it by using money, right? It could be now worth $110 if you've crashed it or whatever and you just repair it and somebody is like, oh, I want this car. Give me, a, I'll give you 110 bucks for it. I'll give you 95 or whatever. That's the situation that could happen, right? Where the where the market in the game determines whether that what that car is worth. Somebody be, might be willing to pay $1,000 for it if they really wanted to complete their set or whatever. That's kind of what I was talking about when I was talking about the prestige edition items for Call of Duty, like the Juggernaut fridge and whatever. Like if they made a full set of all the perks in, in, in fridge form, they made a juggernaut, they made sleight of hand, they made marathon, they like, you know what I mean? Like, or stand, stand, stand them up, whatever the hell it's called. Like that would be a full set. Now somebody might be willing to pay you a hundred thousand dollars for your juggernaut fridge. Like that's my point. So, you know, and there's only a specific amount of juggernaut fridges that were sold or made in that year. So that's the thing too, is like, you know, it, that's, that's where the scarcity becomes, uh, the most important and where the market determines what what things what things cost. Now, if none of you followed that, the quick version is you you make a product, you sell it to somebody, and then that somebody will sell it to somebody else for an, either a higher or lower price. And usually, that last person that's going to buy it determines what it's worth because they're whatever they're willing to pay for it. So if they have a set of that item or to complete a set of an, uh, with that item, then they'll pay more for it. If they don't, they just want it. Sometimes it'll be nine, nine, 95 bucks. Like, like, like the, like the example I, I, I gave. So then it'll be less th than what he paid for it. So that's the kind of thing that you have to keep in mind whenever it comes to NFTs and all that other stuff. That's why a lot of this stuff didn't work because of the crash that, that, that happened. And now the market's not willing to pay anything for it. But if we kept going in a, in a bull market, then all these NFTs that are now like worth less than a penny would have probably still be worth of thousands of dollars that they paid for it. But since all crypto went down, that means NFT went down too. So that's something to keep in mind whenever that's like a quick lesson on, on money and currency and whatever else. Um, so I wanted to end this with pretty much saying GTA six is going to be a 10 year game that is going to be quality, no matter over quantity, no matter what. Call of Duty has not done that in a very long time. So if you are watching this and you are a Call of Duty fan, keep that in mind. Like the video and subscribe if you've um, liked me ranting about things. Thanks.